Fox News' Jeff Paul provides the latest details on the case after a jury sided with Gwyneth Paltrow after she was sued for $300,000 over a skiing accident in 2016. Last month, Gwyneth Paltrow stood trial in Utah where a man named Terry Sanderson accused her of causing him severe injury when she allegedly crashed into him while they were both skiing at the luxurious Deer Valley Ski Resort. She ultimately won the trial after Sanderson was determined to be 100% at fault for the 2016 ski crash. The proceedings garnered lots of attention, and now, weeks later, Paltrow has taken to Instagram to comment on what happened. Her post featured a video of falling show, a photo of an extravagant living room, another photo of snow, and one of a whiskey bottle. All apparently taken during the time she spent in Utah for the trial. Her caption seemed to confirm this, she wrote last weeks of March. Storms of varying kinds, a beautiful place to lay my head, cold therapy of the most natural kind, and a whiskey discovery. Gwyneth Paltrow Deer Valley Ski Crash, Taylor Swift. Miranda Lambert among stars who flocked to luxury SKI Town A post shared by Gwyneth Paltrow at Gwyneth Paltrow app users click. Here two view post the last weeks of March were when the trial took place. Storms of various kinds could refer to both the snowstorms in the area and the media storm the trial caused. Many of her followers also understood her post to be a reference to her days in court. Hope you were able to ski in peace. My queen, one person wrote. Gwyneth Paltrow smiled while giving her testimony during the trial. Rick Bomer slash AFP, may you never lose half a day of skiing again. Another exclaimed, referencing Paltrow's viral quote from her testimony. One follower told her, and you deserve all the peace after what you just endured, and with such dignity. May you enjoy this goodness. Gwyneth Paltrow's conservative court fashion earns easy win, legal experts the comments on her post were filled with similar sentiments. And it seems that while she was formerly a constant target of criticism for her bizarre statements and goop stunts, the people are now firmly on Paltrow's side. Gwyneth Paltrow listens to objection by her attorney during her trial. Jeff Swinger, as celebrity branding expert and founder of Achilles PR Doug Eldridge explained to Fox News Digital earlier this month. Paltrow chose to be authentic, and as an actress, chose to play herself throughout this trial. Gwyneth is such a fitting name for Paltrow. Because much like a Wes Anderson character, she's truly one of a kind, he explained. She took a positive PR bump post-trial for four reasons, one, she won. Two, she countersued for $1 along with what is likely mid six figures in legal fees, three, her answers were ridiculous. And four, her courtroom wardrobe was strategic and effective. Click here to sign up for the entertainment newsletter on the latter two points. You have to understand that Paltrow's fan base is almost entirely female, which is relevant but for decidedly unique reasons, Eldridge explained. On the wardrobe front, civil trials have become an extension of the red carpet, an opportunity for celebrities to extend and personify their personal brand. Like Johnny Depp did last year with his Dior partnership. For Paltrow, she played to her fans, from the Dahmer glasses to the muted chic. She knew what jurors and fans would like to see, and she nailed it. We're a visual society, and she played it to a T. Gwyneth Paltrow went back to black for day seven of the trial and carried her trusty $250 notebook. AP photo slash Rick Bomer, secondarily, Paltrow leaned into her stereotype and gave the viewers exactly what they wanted, equal parts Gwyneth. Goop, great expectations, and Margot Tenenbaum, Eldridge added. She quipped, under oath, that she lost a half day of skiing and said it with such unapologetic candor that even the most cracker-barrel viewers smiled and thought, man, that stinks. Paltrow didn't try to become more likable or sympathetic to would-be jurors as parties often do. Instead, she embraced her most SNL-worthy criticisms and in so doing, came off authentic, believable, and even likable. Click here to get the Fox News app at a time when everyone wants to add a filter or round the edges so that a square peg fits a round hole audience, Paltrow. Delivered her best performance to date, she played herself. Fox News Digital's Lauren Overholtz contributed to this report.
Emily Trainum is an entertainment editor for Fox News Digital.